Are you trying to find health microdata or other microdata from a particular survey? Will you only need to share raw data with members of the Dalhousie community? This video will show you how to obtain data using the University of Toronto's Survey Documentation and Analysis Program, which is maintained by Computing in the Humanities and Social Sciences, or SDA at CHAS for short. In this video, you will learn how the DLI program allows you access to Statistics Canada data, how to access DLI data through Dalhousie University and SDA at CHAS, and how to use SDA at CHAS to download data. If you wish to learn how to preview and arrange data online using the SDA at CHAS interface, check out our video using SDA at CHAS to view data found in the description below. The Data Liberation Initiative, DLI, is the result of an agreement and partnership between Statistics Canada and post-secondary institutions which provide students, staff, and faculty access to Canadian data resources beyond what is open and publicly available. To access DAL's DLI page, go to dal.ca.libguides.com slash SDHAS or do a database search for SDA or for one of our DLI products. This will bring you to our Data Liberation Initiative page, which contains a link to StatCan's open license and the text of the data use license for Dalhousie University. Take a read through the data use license, which does apply to microdata retrieved from SDA. You'll notice that you're allowed to publish your results, but you can't share raw data with Dalhousie University outsiders and you can't try to use the data to uniquely identify a person, institution, or organization. If you need to be able to share raw data with collaborators external to Dalhousie, alternate versions of most datasets available in SDA are available elsewhere and covered under StatCan's open license, which allows this kind of use of the data. Please contact your data librarian for help with this, and you can find the link to Dalhousie's data research guide that contains contact information in the description below. Below the data use license are several options that allow you to access DLI data. We will be working with UTSDA. Select this option and click I agree to demonstrate that you have read the appropriate license. You will be brought to the SDA at CHAS homepage. From here, you will have the option to browse the English and French catalogs. Click on the language you wish to browse. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the English catalog. If you do wish to use the French catalog, please note that there is not as much data available as in the English catalog. So if you cannot find a particular dataset, try searching the English catalog. You will find a variety of Canadian datasets listed in the catalogs. The SDA collection includes several health surveys, such as the Discharge Abstract Database and the Canadian Tobacco, Alcohol and Drugs surveys and some more general surveys that ask health-related questions, such as the general social surveys. The SDA collection also includes many, many non-health surveys. Let's use the Canadian Community Health Survey, aka the CCHS, as our example. You can scroll through the list of surveys, select the C section from the alphabetical list, or use your browser search box, easily accessed via the Control F or Command F for a Mac, keyboard shortcuts. Click on the title. Now we can see the different cycles of the CCHS. They're listed in inverse chronological order, most recent on top, but sometimes SDA lists surveys in chronological order instead. No one really knows why. Beside each cycle of the survey, you will see two options, documentation and data. Documentation varies depending on the survey you selected, but you'll usually at least be provided with a user's guide explaining the background and objectives of the survey, its methodology, who was included or excluded from the survey, and any important information you need to keep in consideration as you explore the numbers. This can be useful at many stages of working with the data, so always have a look at the documentation. Click on the data link to begin working with the data. We will choose the CCHS 2017-2018 annual component. For confidentiality reasons, Statistics Canada has to aggregate or remove some variables when working with a one-year span of the CCHS, and the sample size is smaller, 
So working with a two-year span can be a good choice depending on your research question. This brings you to the main data page, which contains many options and ways to work with the data. To begin, let's cover how to download data. If you plan on performing in-depth analysis, we recommend you download datasets. To do so, click on the Download tab at the top of the screen and select Customized Subset. Choose the type of file you want to download that is appropriate for the software you'll be using. Next, you can select your data definition type. The formats listed are compatible with different types of statistical software. For example, we can download data in SPSS by selecting Text File with no blanks and downloading the SPSS data definitions. Now, we can filter the dataset by values of a given variable. We're not going to do that today, and we can select which variables we want to include in our data. If you wish to see all of the data from the survey, select All. But if you only want to analyze certain aspects of the data, you can go through and pick and choose groupings by selecting some or none. Once you have selected your data, hit Continue. When we indicate that we only want some data in a grouping, the next screen allows us to pick and choose from its available variables. Once that's done, you are ready to create the files. So click on the Create the Files button. Depending on your selections in the previous screens, you will have one to three files to download. The data file, the codebook, and the data definition file, which is the SPSS file in our example. You can save the files, renaming them appropriately to your purpose. Try starting on the right foot by using a naming convention. We put a useful link in the description below. You can now begin working with the downloaded files within your statistical software of choice. Please note that because we are working with microdata, there may be hundreds of thousands of lines of data. Like in this displayed SPSS file, we've already loaded into SPSS statistics that is over 100,000 rows of data. Remember to be patient, and if you run into any issues, you can check out the data research guide in the description below for the contact information for Dalhousie's data librarian. But what if you don't want to download all of the data? Check out our next video in this series called Using SDA at CHAS to View Data in the video description below, where you can learn how to use the SDA at CHAS interface to do some simple analysis online. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.